Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I'm joined by Jeff Cork. Hello. And Ben Hansen. Yay! Uh, a lot of excitement for this game in the office. Uh, oh, you were just reading that off the screen. Minecraft! That, that was enthusiastic. <laughs> That's what that was, too. All right, Jeff, let's jump into your game here. Jeff right. reviewed the game for us. And we're going to go to Awesome Town. What's happening on Venus? Venus is lame. My, <laughs> just toxic no gas everywhere. Yeah. Is a new hope Star Wars themed? It is not. It was my uh Awesome Town is very awesome as you'll see, but uh there's it's lacking in some things, so was I, this the first one you made? Did you start no. like I'm gonna make the best thing ever? Well, that was my awesome intention, town. but what I shouldn't have the first place was called Suckville. And okay. it absolutely <laughs> lived up to Suckville. Oh good. Oh, okay. this looks awesome. Hey, great job. <laughs> this looks like my hometown. <laughs> so there you go. This is awesome town. This is my little house. I got okay. two beds if I want to do like Ernie and Bert style. Push them together for a good time, right, Jeff Cork? I don't know. There's oh. my large <laughs> chest, which, insert joke here. <laughs> got some doors. Ooh, very yeah. nice. I always leave the door closed. I don't do you know. mind those? Got myself a nice little barrier here. Keep bad guys out. This is amazing. This is the first time I've seen this on 360. This looks great. Yeah. So, Jeff, that was kind of just like one house. Mm -hmm. Where's the town? Well, you'll see. I'm just stalling at that point because there is no town. But <laughs> you're gonna go up on the hillside and look over your beautiful per town. Perhaps it is inside of here. This is my big mine that I made. Whoa! Do 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 do. Way too many stairs. But wait, there's more. Here's another oh. bed. Okay. You know, who wouldn't want to sleep? <laughs> I would <laughs> not be able to fall asleep in this cavern. <laughs> Wake up with somebody just staring at you. So here. <laughs> I, this is when it all kind of fell apart because this took forever. It was oh, really no. fun to do, but then I kind of went here. Come on, dumbass. There we go. <laughs> and then I just, I thought, I'm just going to dig straight down for a long time. Naturally. And then I did. And then I, uh, when you do that, it is hard to get back up. Did you find any cool <laughs> minerals down there? No. Oh. <laughs> that's that's exactly why I started A New Hope because I was like, Awesome Town is a good place to be if you like cobblestone <laughs> and if you like sand and dirt. But a little bit of iron and some coal. But aside from that, it, it's not abundant in resources. So I have another area that I started, too. This was like my second abode. I love your fence. Do any creepers ever go up to it and blow a hole in it? No, oh. because I'm sleeping at that time. Oh, I see. Yeah. How long did it take you to make that? This probably took... Maybe about half an hour okay. or so. So, it's, I mean, it's doable to do, you know, to construct your own little things. I had... The reason that when the game started, it said you died is because there is this cave nearby that I just really wanted to explore, and it's full of lava and skeletons and <laughs> things that, like, all my stuff that I ever collected is deep un underneath there, so it's kind of a bummer, but and I'm lost now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful looking world, and it looks great on Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about this version. Well, it's... Most of what, what was in the PC version is intact. There's a few things missing, like you don't get hungry, for instance. I mean, food is still in the game, but it's not like a depleting stat. So for the Minecraft nerds, I guess this is before the adventure update. That's kind of the build they're basing this whole thing off of. And I think that was 1.8 on the PC version. Yeah, there's no XP, uh, no enchanting, things like that. But I mean, there is plenty to do. And the cool thing about this version is, I forget the name of the company, is it... N4 something, but they're the guys that made the perfect dark port for 360. Yeah. Oh, cool. Which I love. I'm really hoping that my other house is around the bend, because otherwise I'm just aimlessly roaming, which is something you don't ever do in <laughs> Minecraft. That's the, the rule of, of Minecraft. So do they also have kind of a sandbox mode in this one where you don't yeah. have to worry about survival? Yep, there's the peaceful mode. Okay. That's in there. And uh, it... That's definitely it's nice to have that there because this game is really terrifying. Oh, it's great. <laughs> not, which I didn't, you know, I didn't really think that was going to happen so much, but I mean like you're just sitting around there dinking around and then suddenly some creeper comes and explodes and you're dead. <laughs> now, how's the interface compared to the PC one? Oh, interface is great. It let's see here. We've got your crafting here, which I'm not near a crafting table so I can only build so many things, but basically you see those tabs at the top, it's on structures right now. And then you just use the bumpers to move between tools and weapons, food mechanisms, etc. And then from there, you've got, like for instance, if I want to build different blocks, then my options for those are by scrolling up and down. It's Very like nice. the cross media bar, right? On right PS3 right. a lot. 
So um, are there any downsides to this version? Um, uh, I think one of the things that is lacking is just the very nature of, uh, of Minecraft with people being able to import structures and use mods to kind of make the model of the Starship Enterprise, for instance, you know, or right. like a scale version of the world. The world itself is smaller, so you could conceivably run across it and hit an invisible wall. Did that ever happen to you, though? No. No. Oh, God. There he is. is yep. Oh, Jeff, you're in trouble. Just no. go, go play with him. He's fine. Go pet his head. We're actually cool. Oh, Jeff, you told me you were cool! <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any good Minecraft stories from your experience with the game? Uh, it, it Mostly, like, that, that giant cave that I... Or, uh, tunnel that I'd built. It was pretty fun because at some point, I could hear the water rushing on the other side. So yeah. I was like, maybe I'll just turn. Because originally I was like, <laughs> I want redstone. That's deep in the ground. I'm going <laughs> to dig deep in the ground. And, uh... Yeah, that didn't work out very well. Oh, my favorite thing about this game is just exploring. Oh, just like yeah. setting off yep. a direction and be like, I'm going to find the coolest place possible for my house. I'm going to find a mountain that goes above the clouds and build just a log cabin up there. Well, I've got a, when we do some split screen, which is one what? of the cool things about the game, um, I've got a seed that I just, I punched in randomly and uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff. I think you'll get a kick out of it. Let's check it out right now. All right. All right, we're back with some multiplayer split screen here. I'm Jeff, on the top. Okay, Ben Hansen's on the top. Jeff's on the bottom. Yep. And uh, how many big, players can you do here, Jeff? You can do four players split screen. A big component it is obviously like Smash Brothers style <laughs> yeah. fighting. Uh huh. So that's pretty handy. No. You can Look, we players. have enough things to worry about, Jeff Cork. We can't fight each other. <laughs> oh, come on. Aww. As I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> My map. That's another cool thing about uh, about the game is that you start off with a map. You don't have to. No matter what? Yeah. In the PC version, you have to craft a map. Yeah, you don't have to do that here. That's what I'm telling you, Ben. Oh, so you're saying you start out See? with one. There, oh, that's map? so neat. You, I think you killed my map. Oh, I might have two maps. I think the map's on your back, like in Waterworld. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, outside of split screen, is there online play? Yes. Yep. You can and how many eight, players can you do with? players online. Really? Yeah. All in the same world. Yep. Can I see building, you? Building a city. Yep. Or Could, whatever. Or fighting on the hills. Fighting on the hills. Can I see you on this map? So if we get separated? We wouldn't get separated. I'm scared of getting separated. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to run me through the controls? Is there anything special I should know? Uh, basically, X brings up your crafting menu. Mm -hmm. And then Y brings up your, men your uh, inventory. Huh. So, Jeff, what do you think about starting a server with me and we recreate the island from Lost? I think that's great. Let's do it. So, I'll be uh, Tailsy. Okay. I'll build a little golf course for us. And after like two hours, we'll meet up in the middle. Perfect. May not take that long, which is kind of one of the, like I said, one of the complaints that some people have had about the size, but I, frankly, I'm not too concerned about So, that. the world is that much smaller then, huh? Well, infinite versus... You know, six minutes or so. <laughs> I am just fine with that. Yeah. I have a feeling I won't be hitting the barrier, even though I like to explore. I always just gauge it by the sun and head off in a certain direction. It's like, yeah. I have it. I'm going north for two days. Let's see go. what happens. You want to build a little house with me, Ben Hansen? I would, but I don't know where you are. I'm down here by a tree. Oh, by the tree. <laughs> I'm coming. Right now. Uh, no, I still don't know where you Jeff's are. Jeff's doing a lot of work here. I'm doing so much work. I'm Anson's just running trees. around. I'm scouting. I don't know what you guys don't understand about that. Yeah. I'm on the lookout. Ah! <laughs> I feel like we should do the child at the supermarket, like, okay, if you're lost, don't move. I will find you. <laughs> we could use, like, some Journey-style chirping language. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice on the map, especially when you get eight players. Yeah. Do you know if there's any cool... I don't know, 360 themed Easter eggs that you can craft in this game or anything like that, Jeff Quirk? I have not found any. Okay. What's the coolest thing you've made? Coolest thing I've made? Mm-hmm. Um, I like that one house that I didn't show you, which is a pretty convenient answer. <laughs> you'll yeah. be able to see it. It was just awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was... It's what Awesome Town was named Oh, you gotta I, build something up there. Yeah, I'm going right up there, Reiner. It's Where? a good call. I'm not gonna tell Jeff Quirk. Actually, it'll be an easy way for us to meet. Just look for the cool perch up top. Something that's kind of annoying is having the jump button on A, because you do so much jumping in this game, and then you constantly have to move your thumb for the right stick, unless you hold it in that weird crab way, which I'm totally not into. Hmm. 
Did you Seems not like find that? No, not okay. really. How do you play games usually? You don't jump Not very well. Well, you just normally don't have to do this much uh, platforming in a first-person okay. shooter is the idea. So apparently the world is limited to 1,000 by 1,000 by 1,000 blocks. Mm. That doesn't sound like much, but... That is that seem... the edge of the world there? Yeah, I think you found it. Huh. Throw a bottle off it. Ellen? Also, I haven't really noticed much pop-in, which on the PC version at least, at least on the servers I've played in, is always an issue. Yeah? Yeah. Where are you? I'm going towards the cool little bridge oh. here. Okay. Kind of looks like an area in Xenoblade. You know. You know. What are you- are you crafting? Oh my god, you're up here too! Yeah, I'm making some sticks. Now when this was announced, they were saying it was gonna be- was it- it works with Connect or it was gonna be exclusively <laughs> with Connect? Did it say exclusive? Yeah, I don't remember how their announcement was. I have- yeah, there's no Connect in here. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because I remember in that Notch Todd Howard interview I did at E3 last year, uh, Todd Howard asked Notch about it, and Notch was kind of like, yeah, I don't know exactly how it's going to work. So I think Microsoft was just super eager to say everything was better with Connect, including yeah. things that eventually wouldn't even feature Connect. Well, That's they, odd. They do mention several times in menus and whatnot that there will be updates for this, so who mm -hmm. knows? Maybe that so could be something. So there will be an update for Connect. Yeah. That seems That'll like... be great if they do have good support on just adding to the world, maybe expanding the size of maps yeah, later exactly. on. Yeah, exactly. I don't see what, honestly, Connect would add. It seems like it would be a liability more than anything else, just the the way the game controls. Cork, I'm going for the edge, man. What? Just don't stop do me. I'm going to do it. Okay. And I've completely gotten lost. I don't remember where my... Look for me swimming in the water. <laughs> it's kind of a specialty. Oh, thank God, ice. <laughs> yeah! See, the game just kinda, like Skyrim. It rewards exploration, which is handy because I seriously have the worst sense of direction. So I like to pretend <laughs> that I'm exploring, not just. Are you still looking for that house? Don't worry about it. It's fine. No, we're in a new world now. Oh, okay. A whole new world. Hey, that's not it. I don't know if I'm going to hit the edge here, Jeff Cork. And yeah. also, it, we've gone a long time without it turning into night. What's going on here? Yeah, are there preferences? Can you set things to. Uh... Keep it a certain time of day? Not that I found, no. But there is survival mode with co-op, right? Yeah. Okay. Or hard, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it's so just, cool over here, Jeff Cork. I'm just punching my way down a tree. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same soundtrack as the PC version, which is nice. It's very soothing. It's so soothing. So Jeff Cork, you're kind of a weird completionist when it comes to games. You tend to get obsessed very easily. Could you see yourself getting obsessed with this game? Yeah, I kind of am. I'm, <laughs> so, <laughs> this kills me just like dinking around because I'm like, I really want to make a home here now. <laughs> Start well, a new family. Yeah. A better family. I heard the tutorial just spits out achievements like nobody's business. Yeah. I had notifications Just for like, doing off, anything. So, yeah. Minecraft and achievements do not mix well. Yeah. So you're going to keep playing this game, Quirk? Absolutely. You said you tried to introduce it to your kids? Yeah, yeah. And I think just the, like, dual analog stick controls just didn't go over too well. Oh, no. We should yeah. point out your kids are four years old and two? Yeah, five and three. Five and three. Close. Yeah, just add one. <laughs> 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 they used to be... Let me make up fiction three, about your children. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh, Quirk, I'm scared. Are you? It's dark over here. I'm going to go Ooh. into this creepy Ooh, pool. yeah. I hope there's no That's where you monsters. should build a city. Okay, I need a lot of items first. Yeah, just make a bed down here. Can you make a water bed? Cork, <laughs> hmm. are you... I don't have any... I need some... Oh, I need, duh. I need to build my... Alright, is that sun moving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's show off some of the crafting here. You guys have... All right, I've have made been a journeyman pickaxe. over this world. <laughs> so I just made myself a nice wooden pickaxe, which don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure it's pretty much invincible, right? Yeah. Yeah. You'll see that little green line. This must be like <laughs> microscopic on this screen. That's kind of uh, how strong it is. So you built three of them. Yep. And then when it breaks, I'll be sitting pretty. Now, <laughs> I am trudging against the current. Because I made myself. Come a on, little river. guy. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm gonna go back to my crafting table. I'm gonna build a furnace. 
and then one thing that was kind of annoying uh playing in the kind of gi overblood fan groups was there's one guy who was the host and he kept on just spawning right next to me and he kept just giving me the best items in the game which <laughs> sounds awesome but it's kind of annoying when you're trying to get into like the survival adventure aspect right, of right. minecraft and it's like oh here's the best armor best like equipment best pickaxe it'll never go away it's very disappointing so I made my first. It's just like getting a cheat code. Yeah, it's no fun. And I am using it to make some charcoal, which I can then use to make torches. Aren't you supposed to put the charcoal in the furnace? I think this is backwards, <sighs> Jeff. You know, I could just build a series of furnaces because once they're being used, they provide some illumination. Hey, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I think I'm at the edge. Yeah, I think you found it. The edge of the world here. And that and, was pretty uh, big, actually. It's pretty good size. I, mean, I don't know how far it went in the other direction. I assume you'd spawn in the middle, but I don't know. Now there's an island out here, and this is where I'm going to set up my home. Yeah? The island at the edge of the world. Why don't you, like, now, Jeff, out with me? We don't want you to move at all. <laughs> Ben's going to find you, and that's how we're going to end this. Oh, boy. But this it's getting no dark, clues, Reiner. No I don't nothing. think you understand. This, this is, is going to be successful. Surely there's uh, no monsters on this island. I mean, this is so remote. Yeah, exactly. Although I'm at the edge of the world, and you know, it's like one of those things where on the old maps you used to have just dragons and stuff okay. out there. I do have 16 torches, so that's plenty, right? Can you throw one over to me? Sure. Yeah, I haven't prepared enough for like this a, nighttime. <laughs> yeah, throw it up like a flare so he can find you. <laughs> oh god, and I know I should be using a shovel for the dirt, but... Oh god. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Can you drown? Oh yeah. So, what you're doing right now is probably not a good it's idea. It's super dumb. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to do that. You got a wolf there? <laughs> got a real wolf there. Science fact, the sun and moon don't actually move in this way. <laughs> the moon doesn't come up every night. They're different colors, too. True. Also, not squares. Huh. I guess. <laughs> Just kill all the wildlife. Well, that's what Minecraft's all about. Just torturing animals. Cube animals. And getting lost. This is pretty peaceful out here, actually. Yeah. Alright, so what are you working on now, Jeff? I am tunneling my way to victory. When... You're just find, trying to find an exit? No, yes. <laughs> 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 Completely. Alright, we have one creeper on this lonely desert island. There we go, look at that. And Boy. what can you do with the creepers other than just barricade yourself into a structure? Um, well, it'd be funny, in co-op, I could lure him over to Jeff's structure. Co-op, he calls it. That's not- that doesn't sound very cooperative. Yeah, you're right. It's co-op okay. in that we're both kind of helping each other have fun. Ah. Even if we're antagonizing each other. This guy's pretty f <laughs> 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 See? And I guess you could use him to mine. Because oh, he just yeah. blows stuff up, and then you can pick all this stuff up. Yeah. Now you gotta get yourself out of there. Oh, piece nice. of cake. This feels a lot like home. Oh, there's a spider. What? Yeah, a couple of them. Hey, uh, dumb question, Cork. How do I drop? There we go. Ah! How do it, I place bricks? Rocks. That's one thing I have what? not done yet. How do I place bricks? Uh, the left trigger. Thank you. You're welcome. And what's the penalty for death? You lose everything in your inventory? Yeah. You can go pick it up again, though, kind of like Diablo, I guess. If you really want to. I'm just gonna hold myself in here completely. Alright, I think that was a good place to end, right? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good look. Oh, uh, let's get Jeff outside here, he's very No, close. he has to cut himself off from all oxygen. <laughs> just let the torches burn it all away. Yeah. Alright guys, well thanks for for showing us this, and the game's available now on Xbox Live. How much is it? It's 1600 micro, $20. 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.